Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Justin with Blackbeard's Radio coming to you today from the shack. Wanted to go over a neat little product that I got in. I uh, don't know if any, a lot of you have heard of them. I'm sure most of you have, but for anybody that hasn't, uh, this company is DigiRig. So they make uh, sound card devices for your radios. They have generic ones, they have radio specific ones, and that is what I got today. Uh, I ordered a DigiRig DR891, and as you can tell by the 891, that means it's specifically made for the Yesu FT891. Hang on and we'll get right into it. Alright guys, so this is how I got it. It was in a padded manila envelope, uh, you know, like a little bubble mailer or whatever. Uh, well packaged, the box is very much still intact. It's hard to believe, look, that there's, guys, my thumb is hiding it. For any of any of y'all that know about a signal signal ink, you know the innovation that DigiRig has brought to the game, and it's phenomenal. So the box looks great. The cables look amazing. Uh, we have to the DigiRig, and then we have a. Six pin, and for some odd reason, Yesu's version of a USB cable. <laughs> I don't know why. I pray that that new Yesu radio that just got released is going to have USB C. So let's check this out. I like the little nifty uh, pull tab. Pull it. Oh, nice little Easter egg. Thanks, Diddy Rig. Uh, scan for the manual. I love that. Save the paper. Uh, realistically, how many of y'all and then on the inside of the box, we'll see you on the air by KOTX. That's awesome. Great packaging. Uh, the back of the box tells you what it does. Audio and rig control, single USB connection, and small and rugged. And that is the big, 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 big ploy to this. I mean, look at that thing. That's all it is. And then one USB-C out going to your computer. That's it. So, with my 891 being my mobile setup, my thought was, ta-da, here we go. I mean, guys, I don't have overly huge hands. My hands aren't small, but, uh, I mean, check that thing out. Hold on, I'll get my signal link. But like I was saying about the... Alright, so like I was saying before I got distracted about the one USB cable, guys. How many of y'all actually use your paper manuals once you have read them and you've kind of got the feel of it? I know for me at that point, my manual is normally sitting at the house or packed away in a box or on a shelf and I'm already logging or doing something on the computer and it's so much easier for me just to reference the manual I have on my laptop. Uh, all three computers that I use for ham radio, I have a file for my radio manuals and I just go ahead and download them digitally because uh, for me that's easier. But that's what DigiRig did. They want you to just download it. That makes sense. Uh, before I show you the size comparison between the DigiRig and the SignalLink, uh, guys, if you would, 92% uh, of y'all aren't subscribed to my channel. If you like this content and you are enjoying what I'm doing, please give me a like, uh, give me a follow. I would appreciate it. It would help the channel grow. Uh, leave a comment if you're unhappy with the video production. Uh, I'm trying to get better, but what I mean is if you don't like what, where the videos are heading and the direction they're going, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know something that you're interested in, uh, and I'll see if I can get a video on it. 
I'm trying to do everything I can while not break my bank. I'm trying to play with the new toys and the new fancy whiz bangs and boom balls. Uh, but, you know, all while still having fun. And that's the number one thing for me is have fun and enjoy the hobby. So back to square one after you hit the subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. Check out the size comparison. I'm not joking. This isn't an empty case. So your signal link, you have your transmit audio, your receive audio knob, your delay knob you have to adjust, a power knob, your indicators. On the back of it, you have to run radio control to the radio, USB to the computer, uh, and then you can still run external speakers and auxiliary crap if you want to listen to all the noise. Uh, guys, I'll be honest. That's everything. That's only six feet of cable. That way you can get away from it some. Or that. To me, it's pretty self-explanatory. Self Technology. We're moving forward. Hallelujah. All right, guys, I'm in the truck now. Uh, as you can see, I have USB-C connected to the DigiRig. And on the back of my 891, I have my USB cable that came with the DigiRig. That's the red one. I have the six-pin DIN plugged in, and that DIN is different than the DIN beside it. That's the black one. If you notice, on top is where your DIN isolator is. For your direction finding and on this one the den is actually in the middle or the little pin uh, so it goes here USB is there and now on the actual digi rig itself red goes to the green and black to black I'll try and get this one handed nope all right hold on all right no trickery just put them in Black to black, green to red. I'm going to throw that back there for the minute. And let's go up front. Locally dokely, we're sitting in my truck. Uh, we're on my Evolve uh, 3. That's the Poda laptop, as people refer to it. Uh, I'm going to see what our last time sync was. just sync now because we were at one second uh, we're down there if you can see it 0 0.039 so that's pretty good that'll work for FT8 all right so we'll minimize that we'll come up here to W8SJTX WSJTX gosh I'm sorry Apparently I'm already running it, didn't realize that. <laughs> Alright, so now I hadn't even set anything up yet in W8SJTX. So let's power on this radio. We'll go to settings. My call. K3EE my grid is FM14BE Alright guys, I'll go ahead and save some time for all of us. Uh, this is not how I ended up getting it to work. Uh, let's skip ahead a couple minutes so you don't watch me continue to fumble through. Alright guys, so here we are, uh, another day, we're actually two days later to be honest, uh, sorry, <laughs> you will never know the difference, but for me, I had an awesome last day of summer, so we have finished setting up the DigiRig to the radio, uh, what we did, connecting the DigiRig to the serial port, the 6th end serial port, and the USB-A, and then the USB-C to the front of the truck. 
I have the USB-C plugged into my computer right there. And now I opened up w WSJTX. I am running X, I'm not running Z. Uh, I also have Grid Tracker up and going. And there's a couple things that we need to look for first. You got to figure out what serial port uh, or what port to plug into for your sound card or the digi rig. So to do that, you go to the start menu, right click, go up to device manager. Under ports, com and LPT, click the carrot. And then, so for me, I have three, four, and five. And what I have noticed is in WSJTX, when you do this, it's the one you don't expect. So inside of WSJTX, go to File, top left corner, Settings. And then under General, you'll have to set everything up. Uh, go to radio and here's what I had to change and I'll leave in the edit that I did I won't take it out uh, but this I had to do a lot of digging so in my rig I have set to none which is very counterintuitive inside my shack I had to select my rig uh, and that blanks out the whole left hand side I can't change anything under cat control uh, it, my com port is six uh, so I had to make sure that it was on the right COM port before I clicked none. Uh, and then I came down to the PTT, me PTT method. So this is telling how your computer is telling your radio how to key up and transmit through the DigiRig. Uh, and it is set up to be RTS. I'm using COM port 6 again. This is grayed out. The mode is grayed out, the split operation is grayed out, uh, and then when you do it, boom, we get a good green, so we're good to go. Uh, inside of your audio settings, the one thing you need to make sure of is that you are on your USB audio device. Mine did not rename the audio device, it just is audio device and I know it. Uh, and then you have your reporting so you can hook all this up if you want to to different things uh, you can have it natively go into m3fjp and a lot of other things uh, for me it just goes into m3fjp and then oh, i'll click ok and then i use grid tracker to uh, i use grid tracker to actually just bring in my contacts from grid tracker to qrz so, and then I like looking at the pretty map in Grid Tracker. Uh, as you can tell on the left or the right over here, I've already started making contacts. Uh, if we minimize this, and then we will pick up the waterfall. I did not change a single thing on this waterfall, but you can see the peaks and valleys. All of these bright red spots are wonderful signals. I'll try and turn it up so you can hear it. That's somebody transmitting. So uh, we heard a uh, uh, JG4, so that's Japan. I'm on 20 meters. Uh, I should have rig control. I try to get, let's try and move to, uh, well, let's go to 30 meters and see what happens. I don't have rig control. But it's working. All right. So I don't have mine set up perfectly yet. Yeah. Oh, he's calling CQ Alaska. Let me disable that. I missed that. I'm colorblind, so that was a hard color for me to read. But it says CQ AK. So he only wants Alaska. Uh, we'll come up to this guy. CO7. Uh, OD. Let's see if we can get him.
I had to make sure to fill this with music. I'm sorry. I was hoping it would have been poof, he answered, and you could have seen it answer. There we go, he answered. Poof, you can see it answer. So I have him at a plus 12 now. He's got me at a negative 8, and that's in decibels. This little pop up that you see in the top left, I'll bring it to the middle. Uh, that is coming out of Grid Tracker. Boom, so there's another contact. He told me 73, I told him 73. And you can tell now that the uh, enable transmit is off. So there you go, everything's working. I went to shut everything off and end the video. Uh, I was going to my outro, but then a CQ Poda guy popped up. CQ Poda K9JP so if I grabbed him real quick we're in the middle of our exchange at the moment Boom. got him well I'll be honest I was going to get out of my truck and do an ending video standing outside because it's kind of pretty weather man I need a haircut but um turns out I've got like several people trying to contact me so I don't know why I never called CQ these people just started trying to hit me up I think it's because I don't do a lot of digital so I'm a new one to them uh, anyways guys I'm Justin with Blackbeard Radio and my call signs K3EE -E. I appreciate every one of y'all if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing it's free to you doesn't hurt you it only helps me and if you don't like this content, let me know. Uh, drop a comment. Some of you do drop comments, and I appreciate them. And I am not joking when I say that. I appreciate everybody that comments and lets me know things, especially when I'm asking questions. And just like when I started this journey two years, well, a year and a half ago, uh, I, I don't know everything. I hardly know anything, I'll be honest. So if y'all see something I'm doing wrong, please leave a comment shoot me an email my stuff is good on qrz uh i need them i need the help i want the help uh i want to learn that's kind of my thing i i like soaking in new information uh so i'll talk to y'all later again i'm justin k3e this has been blackbeard's radio hope y'all have a good day